Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 14 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about conflict detection property of SQL Data Source Control. Please watch part 13 of the ASP.NET Grid View tutorial before proceeding with this video. Now let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. So I have this table TBL employee with some sample data. I want to display this data within the Grid View Control. So let's flip to Visual Studio, drag and drop Grid View Control. Let's auto format that. Let's choose brown sugar scheme. Let's drag and drop SQL data source control onto the web form and let's configure this now. Select the connection string from web.config file. Click next. We want to retrieve the data from TBL employee. We want all the columns to so select star from TBL employee. And if you remember in the previous session, if we want to have the insert, update and delete statements to be auto generated, then we clicked on this advanced button and we have selected this option. Generate insert, update and delete statements. And then for now, let's leave this use optimistic concurrency checkbox unchecked and click OK. Now let's click Next, test your query, click Finish. Now let's associate the SQL Data Source Control with this Grid View Control. So, and since we have insert, update, and delete statements auto generated, we can enable the Grid View to delete rows. So enable deleting. Let's check that. So obviously, uh, delete button will be visible. Okay, now let's run this as it stands. And remember, when we uh, were configuring the SQL Data Source Control, we didn't select the checkbox Use Optimistic Concurrency. Okay, so since that checkbox was unchecked, you know, remember that. And then uh, look at the delete command. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Delete from TBL employee where employee ID is equal to at employee ID. So employee ID is the primary key for this column. So when somebody clicks this delete button, now the delete statement that's generated is going to use that primary key to delete that row from the database. Not only delete, if you look at the update statement, update TBL employee, set name is equal to at name, gender is equal to at gender, city is equal to at city, where employee ID is equal to at employee ID. Again, the primary key of that column, I mean of the table is used to match that row. Okay, now just imagine what's going to happen. Now, if you look at the state of the data here in the grid view control, when we loaded this from the table, this is how the data was. Now, while I'm looking at this data, somebody else can go and change the data in the table. For example, let's now update. If you look at the employee with ID is equal to his name at the moment is John, but somebody issues, issued this update query and changed the name of the person with employee ID is equal to 2. So now it's changed to Johnny. But if you look at the grid view control, it is still John. Now, if I'm going to delete this row, you know, without even knowing that somebody has updated that row, I'm going to delete this row. OK, similarly, if I have an edit button, I would edit that. And, you know, maybe I change it from Johnny to maybe J. OK, if I if I change it to J and then if I update, I might be overwriting the changes which somebody else have done. OK, so basically this is a concurrency problem. So what should happen if two users try to update the same data at the same time? OK, so obviously, you know, if, if somebody somebody else has changed the data and then when I try to update it, you know, I should get a message stating that, you know, somebody else has changed data or I should get that new data and, and display that in the grid view control so that based on that, I would either, un, you know, don't change the data or don't delete the data. Now, look at this since the data is changed now. And if I click this delete button, I'm going to delete John's record without even realizing that somebody has changed his name. OK, so that's basically concurrency problem. So how can we avoid these concurrency related issues by using that optimistic concurrency? So let's see what is going to happen if I choose that checkbox. OK, so let's go and reconfigure the SQL data source control. Let's click Next on the Advanced tab. I'm going to choose this option, Use Optimistic Concurrency. I'm going to click OK, click Next, and then Finish. Now let's flip this web form to the source mode and look at the generated delete and update queries now. Instead of just matching up the primary key in the where clause, look at this. Delete from TBL employee where employee ID is equal to at original employee ID. And look at that, name is equal to at original name. So the name 
should be equal to the original name meaning the name should be equal to what it was when we actually loaded the data uh, into the grid view control if it doesn't match then you know this the condition in the where clause is not met so the row will not be updated okay similarly not only name you know we have other columns as well gender and city and we have another you know or clause here or name is null and original name is null so if that name has become null then the original name should also be now okay similarly gender and city and the same is the case with update even when you try to update it's going to match the values with the, with the original values if they have changed you know then the where clause will not match and the update statement will not go through okay so let's see what happens now so let's run this as it stands and if you look at the state of the data at the moment we have around six uh, five records now let's change David to Dave so I'm gonna say that's going to be employee 86 let's update that now let's select the data back so David has changed it to Dave and if you look at the data in the grid view controller it still says David now let me try to delete this and see what's gonna happen pay close attention to the uh, what happens on the screen look at that it didn't delete the row it simply refreshed it loaded the grid view control with you know the new data so what happened when I hit this delete button you know this query was sent to the database the delete query since the where clause did not match no row was updated and then the grid view simply refreshed with new data okay so basically when that happens you know look at this there, there, there could be problems you know if somebody changes the data we are not deleting the data okay so if that happens then we want to display this message employee with employee row with employee ID is equal to one is not deleted due to da data conflict and I want that to be in red color and if we successfully delete the row then I want to say employee row with employee ID whatever is successfully deleted let's see how to achieve this to achieve this obviously we can make use of that row data bound event of the grid view control okay so how do I generate the event handler for row data bound event right click on the grid view control select properties and then click on that lightning bolt symbol the events icon and then row actually it's not row data bound event we can make use of this row deleted event so when this event is actually raised this event is raised when the row is deleted from the grid view control okay so after the row is deleted that's when this event is raised so I can make use of that event and then within the event handler we have this grid view deleted event args object coming in as a parameter and this object has got a parameter e dot affected rows so if this affected rows count is greater than zero then we know for sure a row is deleted otherwise you know we know no row was deleted so that's a clue for us to detect whether the row in question is deleted or not and just to speed things up I have this code already uh, typed so let me copy that and paste it within this event handler so if you look at that uh, let's actually have a, a label control on to the web form so that we can display that message there so let's drag and drop a label control and let's get rid of the text property and then let's set font bold is equal to true and let's change the ID of this one to LBL message okay so if you look at in the code behind file within the row deleted event so when this event will be raised this event will be raised after the row has been deleted okay so we are setting LBL message dot visible is equal to true and then we are saying if e dot affected rows is greater than zero okay meaning rows have been deleted at that point what are we doing L label message dot text employee row with employee ID is equal to look at that since I want employee ID in double quotes I am using an escape sequence of backslash and a double quote so that's the escape sequence character and look at this how am I getting uh, you know the the employee ID again I'm making use of the keys property there e dot keys remember the primary key for this table is employee ID okay employee ID column so we are using the keys property and then retrieving um, you know employee ID and converting that to string 
and then again appending that to another double quote and then E is successfully deleted and we are setting the four color to navy. Else if the affected rows count is uh, you know basically if it's not greater than zero then we know that no row has been deleted in which case we are saying employee row with employee ID is equal to whatever is not deleted due to data conflict we know for sure the data has changed and that's why you know the the conditions in the where clause didn't match and no row was deleted and we are setting the color to red so let's go ahead and run this now and see what's gonna happen if we get the uh, messages as expected so basically that's the state of the data now now without changing any data if I delete the row look at that that row is deleted employee with ID is equal to 4 is successfully deleted now let's change Pam's name to P okay and that's employee ID 5 so let's update that and obviously if you look at the data within the table so Pam's name is P but when in the grid view control it's Pam let's delete that look at that employee row with employee ID is equal to 5 is not deleted due to data conflict so we get the message as expected all right on this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C-Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.